All right, uh, overview of classification and uh, how the set material uh, specific items. So uh, the operations classify uh, by going down and finding the first matching item. So say image, if we drag an image on here, the image will be classified there. If we drag something with uh, various other properties like raster and engrave and cut, these will uh, find the first thing that matches. So raster here will match anything that is black in stroke and anything with a fill. Uh, image will match any image. And then for the other ones here, it will match uh, based on color. So say if we go to uh, basic classification, we'll have all these other colors. So anything that's uh, purple here will classify with the purple. So if we take this up and we classify it as purple, it's now purple and then classifies as purple. Then we can change its settings to say seven or whatever, and what whatever you need. Um, so that's basically how it works. Is it trickles down? So anything that doesn't get kept. Anything that doesn't catch here uh, goes to the next item, next item, next item, next item. And if it makes it all the way outside of all the items, for example, if we uh, remove this part, let's go ahead and remove this cut. Now, when I drag another copy of here, it had red. It filtered all the way down to the bottom, didn't find anything, and added red at 35. Now, the question was posed as to whether as to how to set it up so that you have different uh, materials so let's go ahead and do that now new now I've pre-made some of these so let's say I have this it'll just since it started with nothing it just classified these items here now I'm going to load up my uh, oak wood settings these are big pops up a note that says oak so now I go here and I say refresh classification. Uh, my raster is set to uh, raster three at 200. Now I load up my acrylic settings. They say acrylic and they're at 333, 333. I have to go back here and reclassify. And refresh classification. And then it's loaded up here. Uh, Let's do example settings. It says example whatever three. And then I uh, refresh the classification. So if you have the items here, you can just set up a new thing. So let's go here. Let's start with the uh, default here. And let's say I want to, for some reason, set this to 17. Way too slow to do anything with, but. 17. Okay. Load up the other one. Also 17.34. Why not? Uh, you can't do decimals like that. It's actually really helpful if you tune in your cuts super hard. Okay, and let's go ahead and load up our notes. We're going to call this Two Slow Rasters. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and save this out as rasters. All right, so now I have uh, two slow rasters. So let me load up my oak settings. These are oak again. Let's go ahead and load up my raster settings. This loads up two slow rasters. And that's about it. Uh, if you make just an operations thing with this, also note that uh, prior to uh, 6.4, there's a bug in these where loaded up items is going to turn on all of these things. And some of them are not things that you'd want on. Uh, that, that'll be fixed in next version, so which is why I delayed making this video. But other than that, yeah. So you can load up any of these settings. It'll load up. Uh, you can turn off notes to automatically load up notes. So if you want to 
load up say rasters again reload it just switches there reload and doesn't load up the note you don't have to add a note but you can't all right uh thanks for watching